This is a review of the Dextra 15016 12-volt lithium-ion cordless drill and driver. This is actually a kit that comes in a nice hard shell plastic carrying case. And as you open this up, you can see that it's nicely packed. Across the top, you have six different drill sizes that are inserted into the case. You also have flat bladed screwdrivers and Phillips screwdrivers. There are two flat blades and four Phillips. And you also have an extension bit to attach these types of bits into that has a magnet in it that will hold the bits in place. I have an instruction manual. You'll have the drill itself. You'll have the uh, AC wall charger. And here you have the battery pack already inserted into the drill. You can see the charger is designed to operate on 120 volts AC and 60 hertz. It has an output of 12 volts DC at 1.5 amps and it is UL certified. You can see the drill itself. The battery pack comes off like so and unplugs. And it's easy to plug in here to be charged. You simply align the uh, way it mounts, push it down and it snaps in place. Here you can see the battery charging. It's green. When it's not uh, fully charged, it'll be red. And then when it's fully charged, it turns green. This is a powerful 1,300 milliamp hour battery that powers this. It has more than three times the uh, capacity of a nickel cadmium battery pack. And it helps this drill generate 195 inch pounds of torque with a lot of current and power. This battery can be recharged up to 500 times and it takes about one hour to fully charge it. As I mentioned, this is a lithium ion battery. The battery is fully charged. You simply unplug it, pick it up and align it in and snaps into place. And then that's the power supply for it. Here on the front you can see an LED that when you squeeze the trigger it lights your work area. And then here you see a fully adjustable 3 8 inch keyless chuck to fit your tools and your drills into. So you can go down to very small size drills if you want. Uh, some of these tools you can buy other brands. They have a, a quarter inch quick disconnect drive but this one here has a real chuck on it. On the side here you'll see a push button on each side. This is the forward and reverse switch so you can drill in and if you need to help to get the drill back out, you can reverse it and drill back out. Position with the switch equally positioned, there's a lockout for a safety mode. Up here, you'll see a two gear, a two speed transmission. This is the high, which is zero to 1050 RPM. And then if you push this forward, this is the low. That's more for uh, using to drive screws in the wood, for example and that's 0 to 300 RPM. Top you'll see an arrow. This actually has a 18 position clutch drive. The higher the number, the more uh, clutch power it transfers to the chuck here. So if you're driving a hard screw to put in the wood, you want to have a high number. And if you're going to be drilling a hole, you can take it all the way up and lock it here to the drill mode. Here you can see the trigger, and the trigger is a variable speed trigger. So I have it in the high mode now. So I can basically ramp it up as fast as I want. I like these smaller sized drills. They have a surprising amount of power and energy and torque and they do a good job. They're really nice when you're doing things like hanging kitchen cabinets where a full size drill will not fit into a cabinet. With this type of device here, you're running about 60% or 70% of the size and you're not giving up that much power. So, to be honest with you, they're much easier to use when doing projects like that. This is a nice product. It has a couple of minor shortcomings I just want to point out. This front here is not metal, it's plastic. So, if you drop it on a job site, you may damage it. In addition, there's no way to, check, to tell what the remaining capacity of this battery is. There's no LEDs to light up to give an indication. So you, you really have to charge it about every time after you use it. There are some products out there that have those features, but generally they cost about 50% more in price than this one does. This one here actually has more clutch settings 
at a higher torque rating. I want to point out that this power cable is a nice 75 inches long so it helps you plug it in and put this on your workbench where you want. In addition this device here weighs about 2.29 pounds. Let me show here the fully adjustable uh, 3 8 inch uh, drill head. And you can see how, how large it does get so it's quite a nice uh, drill head on here. It runs very smoothly. I'd like to point out that this also has some nice rubberized grips so that you get a good handle on it. It's a nice easy device to hold and like I said it's smaller and lighter than the big ones. You see I got the drill ready to go. I've got it set on drill mode and I've got it on the high speed. Let's see how she does. And you can see how easy that was. I know this is just a piece of white pine too before but it was almost like there was nothing there to drill through. It has a lot of torque, a lot of power. It's a good drill. I like this product a lot. It's got a good price on it. It's got a good amount of torque and a lot of, a lot of power to drive uh, drills through wood, for example, to drill through or to even drive screws. I'm going to rate this at five stars. This review is done by JJ CEO. I'd like to tell you that I received a sample for test and evaluation and I didn't promise a review but I promised if I gave one it would be fair and honest.